This happened so many times in Rockford. Business comes in, does well for a while, then it doesn't do well, and then it goes, and then we're left with this empty space. Uh, there's a beautiful space on Perryville that, you know, has tried to, to make a, a go at uh, sort of a reinvention. That is a, the Gander Mountain Store, turned into Gander Outdoors. Uh, once it went into bankruptcy, this uh, in, uh, investment guy named Marcus Lemonis, who you might have seen before on CNBC, a show called The Profit, where he helps small businesses sort of grow. Um, he bought up their assets and, and made a go of it, but now he's moving more towards an RV type of business. And there just wasn't the space for that there. But when he rebranded Gander, he put up a beautiful flag. And you've probably seen it. You might not even have had to be on Perryville Road right there in front of the Woodman's Grocery Store to see it. Maybe on a windy day, you saw it on I-90. I was going to say, I've seen it from 90. <laughs> Drive it in. Like, way out the ways. And so, like, last week, September 11th, I remember seeing it earlier in the day, the flag at half mass, and it certainly stopped me in my tracks from walking out of the grocery store. But it wasn't until actually the morning of the 12th that I drove past it, and it's just, it's, 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 and Marcus is on the phone with us now. It's just, it's hard to almost to put it into words. When the wind catches it just right, and it's almost like a postcard, you know? Yeah, totally agree. That flag is so beautiful, and I hate the idea of, you know, within the next few weeks or month or so, that it would be gone. Where would you like it? Well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not supposed to ever be speechless. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, our job I mean, to talk. You're asking, so I'm, I, I'm, I'm trying to ask you back. Where would you like it? Because the email that I saw and the post that I saw was about uh, wanting to keep it in the town. And, you know, we have another business in Roscoe, which I know isn't Rockford, but we have another business in Roscoe uh, where we have the same flag. But Rockford's an important market for me just because I, you know, I live in Chicago and uh, know that market well, which is why we attempted uh, to, to try and make that work there. But if, if the town or the city has an idea of where or you guys do, of where you'd like to move it to, and maybe dedicated to the city or to a school, I am uh, definitely open to that idea. Okay, excellent. So you would give us a little time then to talk uh, to some important people uh, and, and get some ideas together and, 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 and propose something to you? 100%. 100%. Wow. I, I, I'm just, I'm, so speechless. I'm moved. I really am moved. Well, the flag really doesn't belong to me. It belongs to all of us, right? And so that's that's the argument that we've made in every town that we've ever gone into. And we've had, you know, you can Google it. We've had, I have right now a town in North Carolina that's actually suing me over the flag. What? Oh, wow. Uh, and so it's a very personal thing. It's not a business thing for me. And um, the fact that you guys uh, love it as much as I do and want to keep it in the town is something that, I think makes a lot of sense as long as it's in the right place where everybody can enjoy it. What are the numbers on this flag and flagpole? The pole is 130 feet tall, and the flag itself is a 40 by 80, which is obviously essentially 3,200 square feet bigger than our houses. Jeez. Um, it's really probably the most important thing in my life that I do separate from, you know, my family, just because it represents something much more than the business. I'm actually working on a documentary right now in a town called Grafton, Illinois, which is on the Mississippi River that got really flooded out. And I'm dedicating a flag uh, there on September 28th um, just for all the veterans that live in that area. And it'll be the biggest flag on the Mississippi River. Wow. I've kind of been to drop a flag, but when I leave, it doesn't mean that the flag has to leave with me. Now we need to find the best new home for that flag. Your generosity just, I mean, I've said the second time in one conversation, I'm, I'm speechless, you know? I had no idea that you would be so willing to work something out where this flag could stay. Well, let's figure out where it should go and make it happen. Marcus, have an amazing day. We'll be in touch. All right, guys. Thanks so much. Where will this Gander Outdoors American flag go? 229-5100, or DM us your suggestions, too, if you have the mobile app but can't call right now. 97 okay.